Sometimes I think that efficiency and getting to the point of being more efficient is almost like making the New Year's resolution. I'm going to exercise more. I'm going to jog five miles a day. I'm going to do this, that, or the other. But we never kind of get to the point of doing it. One of the mundane, almost boring parts of getting more efficient is setting up the workspaces. Now, once you've got them, that's cool, but setting them up. And you don't really think about what you want until you need it, and then you're working and you don't want to set up the workspace. So sit down and think through what you think you would need. And we've already played around with the interface in the last lesson. Let's just do one or two things here. Number one, we've got the mini bridge and the timeline down here. So I'm going to click on mini bridge, which opens this up. But I don't want to use it. I don't want it in this workspace. So I'm going to drag it out like this and click the little X button, and that'll get rid of it. This one down here, I don't want the timeline either. Timeline's for video. And this workspace is not for video. I'm going to come over here to my layers, channels, and paths. I'm going to drag the whole group out. I use them a lot, and to me, they are very important. So I want them at the top, not the bottom. So I'm going to grab right here and drag up until I see a blue line up here. I've got them up here, so they're kind of where I want them to be. And let's do one more thing. Let's go into Window and maybe pick up something called Notes. Now, it puts it over here, but I'm going to drag it out of there. And I'm going to put it down here. You can put them anywhere you want. So I'm in the middle of constructing this new workspace. It has to do with my workflow, say with a certain client, things that I need to get the job done, and I've gotten rid of the things I don't need, but I don't want to keep coming back and reassembling this every time I want to use it. There's two ways we can do this. If you go to the Word Essentials on the pull down menu, you do have a new workspace button here, or you can go to the Word Window, go down to Workspace, and there it is here too. Either way, give it a name. This is my Infinite Skills workspace. Now, the cool thing to remember in this chapter, we talked about creating shortcuts, making our own, and modifying the menus. If you want to add those changes, I love this, to this particular workspace, you can. If you don't, when you change the workspace, the menus and keyboard shortcuts won't change. So I've even got some special stuff there for them, and I click Save. And there it is, Infinite Skills. But if I go back to Essentials, I mean, it's still the same way I put it together. So I can go up to the word Essentials and go down to Reset Essentials. And now I'm back to the Essentials that Adobe thinks are essential. But now I'm ready to work with Infinite Skills. I can do it here, or I can go to the word Window, and I can go down to Workspace and over to Infinite Skills here. Let's say over the course of time, you have developed a whole bunch of these. I usually have, oh, 10 or 15 on my working computer. And maybe you don't need some anymore. Maybe it's a client you don't work with. Maybe you misspell the name. Maybe you just don't like the way the name is. Maybe you want to change it. All you have to do is either come here or come to the pull-down menu, go to Workspace, and select Delete Workspace. Now, you can delete any workspace that isn't active. The active workspace is infinite skills. So you'll notice that's the only one that we really can't delete. So we have total control, and it really is kind of like a resolution. We know we should do it. It's going to make us better at what we do. It'll make Photoshop more efficient. Remember what we're trying to do. Reduce complexity and increase creativity. And we can do that, at least part of it, through workspaces. On to the next.